We present our cases in a very clear, straightforward, honest way. We use plain English and we try to make it interesting. There are two basic approaches to patent litigation. One of them is to have a lean, focused approach that really is geared towards preparing for trial, to present it as a story, a story that also includes some human interest. The other approach that we commonly encounter in patent litigation is a more, frankly, it's a more bloated approach. It's large teams of lawyers. We have litigated against firms that have a thousand lawyers or more. The thing is that when those lawyers actually get to trial, no one actually knows the case. Enforcing a patent in court really is a pretty simple thing. The whole goal is to get the case to trial. The case that is prepared for trial often settles, but the case that one tries to settle, one often has to try. Getting a patent infringement case to trial can be kind of like playing a hockey game. You know, when you get slammed up into the boards, you have to keep playing and you have to not get distracted. We don't want to get sidetracked into a lot of side shows, uh, motion practice, Markman hearings, inter parties review. Those are all distractions, those are all smoke screens, and we want to be smart about that. We want to think ahead about it. We know what the hurdles are, and we know where they're going to be erected, and we know how to get past them. We act as local counsel for lawyers from all over the country. They tell us that they know of no other law firm in the country that is as conveniently located to the federal court. We can be in court in five minutes from our offices. That's why we wear suits to the office every day. We have had situations where we have gone into court, gotten an emergency seizure order, and gone out with the U.S. Marshal to the Trade Center to make a seizure on the same day. We have literally scared the competition out of the city. I'm Rich Beam. I'm a patent attorney. I'm the founder of Beam Patent Law Firm.